Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. We've got a beer which I'm looking forward to reviewing. It's from Great Divide Brewing. Let's get this focused. And it's the Yeti. And it says Great Minds Drink Alike. From Denver, Colorado. Established in 1994. Uh, it's a 12 fluid ounce bottle. The IBUs, which I'm looking forward to on this beer, are 75. Let's get the label. It is 9.5% ABV. And I've heard a lot of good things. I've watched a lot of good reviews about this beer. So I'm really looking forward to tasting it myself. It's an imperial stout, so let's get it open. I'm using the old beer glass today. Really like reviewing out of this glass. Wow, look at this. Again, we got another thick, thick beer right at the end here. Got an absolutely fantastic. Let me have a look how it compares on camera. That is a, that is about right. It's like a very very dark caramel. Let's get rid of that bubble. Very dark caramel looking head. Very very dark beer indeed. Looks like it's got a fantastic complexity. Absolutely love. Let me see if I can get this to focus because I think it's very important. There you go. Look at them tiny bubbles. Now I was always told by a head brewer of a famous brewery that the smaller the bubble the better the beer. Let's get the aroma. Oh it just smells the chocolate malts in this. Oh I'm getting it from up here. I'm getting the aroma from here. Never mind sticking my nose right the way down but Chocolate, caramel, syrupy, goodness, absolute goodness. Let's check out this beer. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, this beer is fantastic, the bittering is going on and on and it's, it's still going on and on right now, I'm getting it all, it's making my, making my cheeks kind of all push up into the side of my face, it is a very, very, very good tasting beer. Now I'm going to break this down into quite a few parts because it's doing an awful lot as I'm drinking it. Here's part one, the initial, initial hit. There's an unbelievable citrus tone in this, the grapefruit citrus tone in this is unbelievable. Followed then, completely followed by caramel, roasted malts, chocolate, very very bitter coffee like taste and then the bittering goes on and on in your mouth. It is a beer to savour and the beer itself I seem to be saying this a lot when I review stouts, but this keeps going up a level. The, the more I review stouts, or let me let me say, I used to review, um, I've done a few of the famous stouts before. They don't really coat your mouth at all, not like a big beer like this, because there is so much texture, there is so much consistency to the beer. It is a big, big beer. Absolutely unreal.
This is an imperial stout, but this at the at the same time, this reminds me only a little bit of a black IPA because you've got the citrus tones to go with it. Unbelievable. Let's give this a whirl round. Love to do this. Get the nose. It's going to be a big nose. It's, it's one of these beers which for me is that good. I am struggling for words. It is that good. It, it's just sublime. Superb. Amazing. There's not enough words that can describe this beer. It punches like an IPA. Absolutely punches like, like an IPA. A couple of big jabs come through from the IPA side. side. And then bang. Big right hand. Of just pure stoutiness. The bitter in it is amazing. If you are new to craft beer, real ale, good beers in general. I think you're going to have to build yourself up to this beer. Watching this, I try a few stouts, I try a few black IPAs, I would try a few IPAs. Build yourself up, build the IBUs up slowly until you get to this. Because I think if you went straight to this, it would overpower you, it would knock your socks off, and it may very well ruin your... Um, Sensation with a good beer. So there is a warning as well. I think you've got to build yourself up to a beer like this. If I if I had this beer when I first started reviewing beer, I wouldn't have been able to handle it. No way, no way. It is so complex. There is so many things going on. But until you can build your palate to a certain level, then I think stay clear from this beer. Great Divide. Let's see if they've got a, a website. I'm just going to read out the bottle as well. Here we are. www.greatdivide.com Okay. Yeti Imperial Stout is an onslaught on the senses. Absolutely sure. This is the first time I've read this. It starts with big roasty malt flavour that gives way to rich caramel and toffee notes. I still get, I, I still get citrus IPA in this, as well as the toffee. You do get toffee, you do get coffee, you do get roasted malt, which I've mentioned, but you also, which is very, very clever, you, you also get a bit of an IPA in there as well. <laughs> Yeti gets its bold hop character from an enormous quantity of American hops. It weighs in at a hefty 75 IBUs. Silver medal, Great American Beer Festival 2009. Bronze medal at the Great American Beer Festival 2008. And a silver medal at the Great American Beer Festival 2005. Suggested food pairings is grilled steaks, strong salty blue cheese, and chocolate. I think chocolate is a good one. Now I've got the Dawn's in task to try and rate this beer. It's fantastic. Look at the consistency. Look at the lacing. The consistency of this beer is wonderful. You can tell it's a big beer. You can tell. But I wouldn't really say it's 9.5. It's got them qualities as well, but it masks the alcohol. Rating. It. 
for me the Yeti. Imperial Stout. Yes. I'm going to go all out. The thing is, I've been giving a lot of 10s to the American beers, and justifiably so, they are absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to have to go with my heart. I'm going to have to go with how I feel. This gets a 10. It is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Thanks for watching another edition of The Real Air Guide. One more thing before I go. I have had... Check out YouTube, Tim1119. Tim, he sends beer to people. He's a fabulous guy. He reviewed beer himself on his YouTube channel. He sent me a Beer Republic Racer 5. I think. He sent me my first Stone Brewing Ruination IPA. He has sent me an old Raspian, a Rasputin, even Russian Imperial Stout. And last but not least, he has sent me an Alaskan Baltic Porter Ale. Wonderful guy, great channel. Fantastic beer reviewer, Tim1119. Check him out. I'll be reviewing these very, very shortly. Very excited about the stone. Very excited about all of them. Email realguide at googlemail.com with all your comments. Facebook is www.facebook.com forward slash reallcraftbeer. And Twitter is www.twitter.com forward slash realltoday. Thanks for watching another edition. Comment on YouTube, always come to YouTube first, comment, I'll always answer the comments, good or bad, subscribe if you like. Cheers Tim, cheers everyone, cheers.